In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the best stocks for your poor man's cover call trades. And uh, toward the end, I'll show you uh, the list of the stocks I personally use. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to screen for them yourself, or you can just uh, use the list I use. All right, whichever you prefer. These are the four things I look for when looking for a good poor man's covered call stock. Uh, the first thing is the stock should pay little to no dividends. This strategy, by its definition, you don't actually own shares of stock, so you don't get to uh, benefit from any dividend payments. So if you want to you know, do this on good paying dividend stocks, then you might as well just you know, do it with covered calls. But for this strategy, we're looking to stocks with uh, no dividends or just very small dividends. And the second thing I look for is uh, the stock has got to have high options volume. When you're doing a poor man's covered call, like one half of the trade is buying a deep in the money call option about 180 days to a year out. In order for you to be able to do that and have a, a reasonable bid ask spread, you know, because these are expensive options you're going to want to have a tight bid ask spread. In order to get that, you're going to need to do this on stocks with high options volume. Uh, anything with 5,000 plus options contracts traded per day is fine. Third thing I look for is high implied volatility. Anything from like 30% to like 100%. The long calls are, are so expensive and you want to be compensated for that on the other end when you're selling uh, short dated calls against it. And the higher the implied volatility, the, the higher the options premium you'll receive. And I like to do this typically on growth stocks. Since, since these aren't dividend paying stocks, they're pretty much growth stocks. And you expect some big moves up, hopefully. And uh, you want to be compensated for that on your long call. And you want to be collecting a lot of premium on your short calls. Fourth thing I'm looking for is a bullish chart. A regular covered call, it could be like a neutral to slightly bullish uh, chart and you'll be fine. With a poor man's covered call, it's actually more bullish because you know of your long dated call you want the stock to rise a lot for that to go up in value. So I'm looking for a, a pretty bullish chart. You know, nothing parabolic, just, you know, it's gotta be bullish. So now that we actually know what we're looking for in a poor man's covered call stock, let's actually go and screen for some. So here I am in my favorite free stock screener. It's on Market Chameleon. I'll put a link in the description for this. Like right here is a, is a blank slate and there's a, a bunch of different filters you can use. There's the stock attributes tab, the price volume and technical tab. We have all these, valuation and profit. This is for fundamental analysis, leverage and growth, it's debt and different ratios and things like that. And this is all like performance in the last 30 days, 15 days, 90 days. I use these pretty much these first two tabs, stock attributes, price, volume, and technical. I created a preset, which I just used called my poor man's covered call screen. I'm gonna show you the parameters that I changed. I just went down to here. It says, I wanna make sure it has options. That's a, that's a good start. So it has options. Market cap it doesn't have to be too huge, but it should be, you know, pretty big. It shouldn't be like a penny stock or anything. So anything over a billion is fine with me. And stock type, I just want to make sure we're doing common. For dividend yield, um, I just leave it at any because we don't really care about dividends. Unfortunately, there's no drop down here for none, but just any is fine then. For IV30, I like doing anything above 30%. That's fine for poor man's covered calls for me. Then go to price, volume, and technical. For price, uh, this is, you know, subjective. I do anything above 25 the good thing about poor man's covered calls is where they actually shine over regular covered calls is you can actually do them on expensive stocks. A $500 stock is, you know, cost prohibitive for a lot of people because it costs $50,000 for a covered call. With a poor man's covered call, you could do it for a heck of a lot cheaper. So I just start at uh, anything above 25 is fine. And stock volume, I want to make sure it's heavily traded. So anything over 5 million and option volume, it has to be pretty heavily traded. So anything above 5,000 contracts a day is fine. And uh, this is important right here. This is the uh, the technical indicator, and I just do any bullish. So you know any bullish chart pattern that's detected, it'll show up in the screen. So let's see what we have. So right now there's uh, 33 entries. So I have these uh, sorted by market cap. So these all, if you go into the options tab, these all have good vo options volume. Like these are crazy high for options volume, and you can see the IV here, implied volatility, and these are you know they're within our parameters, and they're all really good for uh, poor man's covered calls. You could even sort by this if you want to, to get the, uh, the most extreme ones like Coinbase. And I think this is Wayfair and, uh, Roku, Roblox, you know, Tesla, you know, these are, these could be really lucrative for poor man's covered calls. These stocks right here, if you're sorting by implied volatility, you know, just, just understand by the nature of implied volatility, these are more volatile stocks. So, you know, you have to be comfortable with big price swings, but you know, they have a potential to be a lot more lucrative. Keep that in mind when you're doing this. And that's pretty much what I do. I sort by options volume or I sort by implied volatility, whatever is most important to me. And then once you find one that you're interested in, like say I wanted to do it on Tesla, you just click on Tesla and it'll take you to the uh, summary page. And uh, most of these parameters here are, are fine if you have a free account, 
Like most of these aren't premium. I have a premium account, but most of them you can access for free, except for maybe these trade ideas. But like you go down here, you have news, you have all the, the uh, trading statistics, you have, you know, all the fundamentals here. Like there's a crazy amount of information here. You can go to full chart. I like to go to year and check on the 200 day, see how it's doing. It's still below the 200 day, but it's coming up. It's coming up big. Let's see the 50 day. It crossed the 50 day. Now it's going to come up against the 200 day. Well, we'll see. And the technical, it says fast bullish crossover. So I pretty much, you can just go through all of these uh, different tabs and and do all the research you want on these. And that's pretty much it for uh, screening for stock on uh, Market Chameleon. Now I'm gonna show you another way. You can just uh, go to my site. This is a poor man's covered call watch list I have on my site. I'll put a link for this in the description below. And uh, I update this uh, once a month and I pretty much just get these stocks by doing the same scan that I just showed you how to use on Market Chameleon. So you can either do it there or just bookmark this page and come to my site and look what I have. All of these stocks are okay to do uh, poor man's covered calls on. They all pass the same screening uh, criteria I just showed you. You just look for them here, and then if you want to do more research, they take you right to the page on uh, Market Chameleon, right in the summary page, and you could do all the uh, research we just talked about. Go to full chart and check out the chart, see if you know it's something you want to get into, or check out any of these uh, parameters over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more dividends and options income content like this, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Talk to you in the next one.